This video is going to describe how you find the value of uh, negative angles on the unit circle. So when you are on the unit circle, uh, normally what you'd have here uh, is you would have um, 0, you would have pi over 2, you would have pi, 3 pi over 2, uh, and 2 pi, and you can keep going all the way around and incrementing in units of a half, but uh, for, for now we're not too concerned about that. that. That was covered in a previous video. What we are concerned about is what happens when you have a, a negative value. So what's the difference? Well, well the negative is going to cause you to move counterclockwise. So instead of going up like you did before, you're actually going to go down. So down here would be negative pi over 2. This would be negative pi. This would be negative 3 pi over 2. And this would be negative 2 pi. So the way that you're going to find out where your angles lie are, are you know, where where in between these values are they? So let's say we wanted to um, let's say we wanted to figure out where where negative seven pi over six was. Well, well, how would we do that? Well, one way to do that is to rewrite each of these numbers as if they had a denominator of six. So this would uh, be zero pi over six. This would be a negative three pi over oops, six. This would be negative 6 pi over 6. This would be negative uh, 9 pi over 6. And this would be uh, negative 12 pi over 6. So we can see that our negative 7 pi over 6 is uh, within the second quadrant. It's, it's in between negative 6 pi over 6 and negative 9 pi over 6. So let me go ahead and draw that in. See if I can get this. So let's put that right there. So that's around where negative pi over six, negative seven pi over six would be. Notice I made it a little closer to the negative six pi over six than the negative nine pi over six because negative seven is closer to negative six than it is to negative nine. Okay, so we, we, we've been able to figure out what quadrant it's in. This would be quadrant two. So I'm just gonna go ahead and make a note of that over here. Quadrant two. Well, we know from our little device here, this all students take classes deal, that within the second quadrant, cosine is negative. So remember, we should have written this earlier. We're trying to find the cosine, let me write this here, the cosine of negative seven pi over six. Let's say that's the problem we wanna do. So in the second quadrant, cosine um, is actually, uh, it's negative over there because only sine is positive. So because it's quadrant two, that's gonna indicate that our value is negative. Now what about the actual value of it? Well, the actual value of it, we need to figure out what the reference angle is. So the reference angle would be this angle right here. It's the distance between our angle negative seven pi over six and the x-axis. So if this whole thing is negative pi over six, and we know our negative seven pi over six, and this part from here to here represents negative six pi over six, then we know that uh, the, the reference angle, the distance from, from here to here would have to be pi over six, the, the absolute value of the difference between seven, negative seven pi over six and negative six pi over six. So this would be, um, uh, this, this would basically be like um, the negative, the cosine of, of pi over six. Now what is the cosine of pi over six? Well, at this point you should have it memorized from the unit circle that the cosine of pi over six would be root three over two. Uh, so our full answer, the, the magnitude of the answer comes from the reference angle. This part right here, uh, the reference angle tells us the magnitude, and then the quadrant tells us the sign. So our final answer would be negative square root of 3 divided by 2. In the next video, I'm going to do some more examples of, of problems where you're finding uh, negative angles on the unit circle.